Here are the top 5 biggest problems that magicians have with a classic pass and how you can fix them to make the move look smooth and buttery without needing 20 years of practice. Coming up. What's going on guys, my name's Ross Donald and welcome back. On this channel we help magicians improve their sleight of hand and provide practical advice about angles and presentation. So the classic pass is one of the most popular sleights in magic and perhaps one of the most overused. We all strive for that Xavier Spade like pass that looks invisible. Myself and other magicians have purchased DVDs such as Alex Pandrea's work on the brick pass in order to gain a better understanding of how different creators handle the move. Everyone's technique should be justified by the way that they handle playing cards. And over the years I've met countless people that manipulate the deck in their own unique ways. Don't worry I won't go into too much depth of the mechanics as a whole as I know you'll all be familiar with the core fundamentals. I've been doing the classic pass for the past 4 years and I've changed the way that I do it multiple times. And all of the issues that I mention I too have been guilty of in the past. Before we make your pass as good as possible, if you want to support the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future content. Every Saturday I upload a new video, so stay tuned for that. But if you have stumbled across this tutorial, feel free to check out my top 5 favourite colour changes and the DPS advice after the video. Anyway enough talking, let's make this essential move better. Problem number 5, extending the top packet way too far. A lot of people forget that the pass isn't meant to be a scissor cut or some cardistry flourish. It is a subtle tool to control cards and manipulate the deck on the offbeat. Although by the end of this you should be able to perform the pass cleanly enough to use it as a vanish or a change of a card. The way that you fix the move from looking like a cut is pretty simple. When we drag the top packet to the bottom, I want you to focus on pushing the cards down straight and doing this softly. Don't do one of these as a smooth pass always looks better than a fast pass because you always have to remember that you should just be fidgeting with the deck so if the spectator sees some weird flash for no reason it's because you're running when you're not being chased Issue number 4 is very important just don't look at your hands when you're performing I'm afraid no matter how perfect your pass is even if you get it to the point where nobody will ever spot the move unless used as a vanish or a visual production you shouldn't look at your hands there is no point in drawing your audience member's gaze to the deck so you can square up the cards. Problem number 3 is moving your hands up and down and bouncing about. I know we are magicians and we do a bunch of strange stuff, but I for one would still like to remain partly human and not act like a circus monkey when doing the pass. This doesn't mean though that you cannot be loose in gesture. A good way to make your classic pass more imperceptible is doing it while you're having a conversation. What I mean by this is when you're chatting to your participant, retaining eye contact and being present and engaged while doing a few passes. After you've performed to one group and are about to move on to another, if you ever find yourself in this situation it's useful time to practice the timing of the pass while chatting. The key to this though is to multitask and to respond to what they're saying. The second last mistake I see people make with a classic pass is obtaining a pretty massive obvious break. The way that we correct this is using the pad of the thumb to squeeze into the side of the pack and using your fingers here to just push the deck in firmly. This just keeps the cards neat and tidy. The last mistake that I see magicians have with the pass is going overboard with the covers because they feel guilty performing the move. When choosing a cover for the pass I recommend that you choose one similar to how you handle playing cards. For example, I wouldn't do a jiggle pass as I don't tend to do this motion when I'm performing. Covers should be taken with a pinch of salt though, so if you're going to do a jiggle pass for example, I would do one square up instead of doing multiple at a time. I see too many people doing this sort of action to cover up their pass. Some people don't even need a cover and that's completely fine. I know some people that can do the pass really smoothly without even needing to do any extra squaring up. If you enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button or just click it if that's more your thing and of course a subscription to the channel will mean you get to see more videos. In the comment section let me know what's your favourite pass or if you use a different card control instead. There are plenty of other videos on the channel if you want to see my top 5 favourite colour changes, improve your DPS or maybe even learn faster. For any of you that do YouTube as well I've made a whole video on how I film on a low budget if that interests you. Also some of the old videos are fun to watch if you want to see my journey of starting the channel to where I am now. My name's Ross Donald and I'll see you guys on the next one.